not even like five minutes later and it hit. We could just hear like everything outside, but we're just thankful to be alive. And I lived there for 28 years and I've never seen anything remotely close to this. And this is devastating. Your kids are at that other house. They're safe. Their husband's safe, okay? They're all safe. It just, everything was beating around our heads. But thank God we made it. Yeah. That's my house right there. I was in it. Within two seconds it came through and moved my house completely off the foundation. The people, two houses behind it and across the street, we can't find them. I'd be glad to walk over there with you, but I want to go over and try to help find the kids. Yeah. It's terrible. It's gone. You know how lucky we were? <laughs> Just right there is the next gas station over and it's totally gone. We got lucky. We really got lucky. Just two houses over is where everything starts to be demolished. And this black thing come out of the sky and it was turning. It was way up in the air. But it just came and then it just came down. And that was that was it. I looked up and I was talking to my daughter across the street and I looked up and I just seemed debris everywhere. And next thing I knew I was like, I thought it was a dream. It just couldn't be real. They knew I could be a ball player, but usually kids in the neighborhood don't make it. I'm Manuel Forrest, McDonald's All-American. I'm a homegrown guy. Boom, I, I'm a player. Bam, these flashing lights come on. Wow, police, I'm like two blocks from my house. I done went through a lot, Rick. <laughs> Rick, things gotta change. I have a weird thing to this day I wake up on August 4th at 10.20 in the morning. He had been in an explosion and that he was the only survivor. An undercover investigation. A determined reporter. They had no idea. They had no idea. A hidden camera. I don't think they suspected a thing. And ice cream? WDRB in the morning's Keith Kaiser is helping you get more cone for your cash and bang for your buck. That's a large ice cream. The Super Soft Serve Saving Search, Tuesday on WDRB in the morning. What do you think of my mustache? Uh, I think it looks fake. <laughs> When severe weather's approaching, I really try to focus solely on the radar. Not all thunderstorms are gonna hit the same city, the same street block, with the same amount of energy, with the same end result. It's those critical moments before the storm arrives that you can make a difference. You've gotta be ready. And what we will do in those scenarios, we'll have our people in house here, we'll have people all in their stations. We stay here, we cover the weather, and we make sure that people know what's going on. Why wait? Catch all the action of First Down Friday on WDRB. Get highlights, scores, and more 45 minutes before the other stations in town. Don't miss First Down Friday, Friday night at 10. What happens when football is more than just a game? When it's played by those who have said goodbye to the people they love the most? Tonight on this Veterans Day, Get an inside look at the sons of those fighting overseas and how football has strengthened their bond. It's Bond of Brothers, the Fort Knox High School football program, and it's tonight on Fox News at 10. Before I knew it, Chase had stabbed Jamie. There was blood flying. There's a lot of yelling. He always had a knife in his hand and cut the guy's throat. There is a victim here. Okay. And he's, and yeah, no, I understand that. that. Okay. And, and you yeah. can tell by my shoes and my clothing that I spent all night digging him out. I've never heard Brian say I can't do anything. It's not something I really saw myself doing, but I was just drawn to the challenge of it. How did this really all start? Uh, basically when we moved back home to Indiana.
I got halfway there and she called me and told me he had died. I didn't really realize how much people think it's a miracle for me to be here and be able to do the things that I do. I look up to him and he's my brother. You're supposed to look up to your older brother. He can pretty much play anything or do anything that any other person can. People will think I'm a fool for starting a one-arm receiver, but I said I could care less. It just impacted every single citizen of this community. No one believed that this was possible. Was this the worst natural disaster ever to hit Louisville? Oh yeah, without question. It was a catastrophe. We can't grasp the darkness, the cold, and the fear. Jennifer Lawrence, the mayor, several presidents, and even the Pope have all put their lives in this man's hands. Boom, then something happens, it happens fast, and you know, you need to react to it. I want to introduce you to one of Louisville's best known bodyguards and tell you the one group he doesn't work with, Monday at 4 and 10.